Hey guys, welcome. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey guys, welcome to another uh, tier ranking. As you can see here, I'm doing a Clint Eastwood directing movies. These are the films, all the films he's directed. I think I left a couple of movies out. Yeah, I left a few movies out because I haven't seen every single one of them, but I, for the most part, I've seen all his directed films. For the most part. But, uh, yeah, if, I, um, if I'm missing some, let me know in the comments below if it's any good, if I, if I should check them out and stuff, so. <laughs> uh, hold on a second, alright, um, alright, yeah, I think I, I'm all set up, uh, so let's get to it. This is my tier ranking for Clint Eastwood. And, again, you know, S is the best, F is the worst. So, um... Uh, Let's just start with whatever the order I got here. Sully. Sully was a good movie. I really liked Sully. I'm going to put that in B tier. I liked Sully. I thought Tom Hanks was good. I thought the event was very, very traumatizing. I love that it was only like 95 minutes. It didn't like overstay its welcome. Mostly talked about the event and the controversial elements that happened after the event. It was a genuinely like interesting story. It's not brilliant, it's not incredible, but I really enjoyed it, and I think it's a good movie. Mystic River. That's A. That's fucking A. Sean Penn, um, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Tim Robbins, all fantastic. Great murder mystery. Great ending. Oh, I love the ending to this movie, and I think it's one of Clint Eastwood's best films. Easily, hands down. And Jersey Boys. Not very good. Uh, Jersey Boys. <laughs> it's about the Jersey Boys. Like, uh, it's not a single interesting character. The music was fine. It was never a huge like Jersey Boys fan, anyways. But the story is just not that interesting. It's so boring. The way the film is too. Just I hate the look of the film. It's so dark and grainy. I I don't I just don't like this movie. I just I don't hate it. It's not the F tier, but just it's not good. And I just don't care about any of these characters. Don't care about the story. I was never once invested for a second. And just, yeah. And it's like two and a half hours. Oh, fuck. It was agonizing. Um, Honky Tonk Man. Honky Tonk Man is... Is beat here. I, I like Honky Tonk Man. It's it's classic, like, comedic uh, Clint Eastwood movie. This is during the beginning of his uh, direct directing films. Uh, very good. Good uh, action sequences. Good performances. All around, pretty solid. Same with Invictus. Invictus is good. Uh, it's a rugby movie. Uh, Nassim Mandela, Morgan Freeman is great. Matt Damon is good. It's about the uh, Africa Championship rugby match. And it's also talks a little bit about Nelson Mandela's past and stuff. It's very good. It's very good. Ooh, uh, Outlaw, Josie Wales is also a beat here. Really great. Very gritty, raw Western film. Really enjoyed Clint Eastwood a lot in this film. And... Uh, really good sequences, and for an older film, it looks really good. Bronco Billy, also B-tier. Uh, again, my, he did a lot in the beginning of his career, a lot of westerns, and for the most part, they were really good. Really good. Bronco Billy is no exception. Uh, Sudden Impact is C-tier. He looks like Hugh Jackman. Does he look like Hugh Jackman in this poster? Uh, this is the third installment of the Dirty Harry franchise, and it's definitely one of the weaker ones. I, I like it, I like Clint Eastwood, I like some of the action scenes, but it's just, it's not amazing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not amazing. Uh, not a great villain, uh, the climax is a little underwhelming. It's no Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry's amazing, and even Magnum Force I really enjoy. Uh, uh, I still enjoy it for the most part and have fun with it, but definitely one of the weaker ones of the, the franchise. Unforgiven, I've talked a lot about Unforgiven. It's one of my favorite films of all time. It's one. It's my favorite Western of all time. I love everybody in it. I love Richard Harris as English Bob, uh, Little Bill, uh, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, Clint Eastwood. Everyone's amazing. The music's amazing. The story, the atmosphere, the direction. It's a perfect movie for me. Pale Rider, I've also talked about in C tier. It's good. Uh, it's definitely just not one of my personal favorites. But it's, 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 it's a pretty decent movie. I also put Cry Macho in the C tier too. Like I, I talked about those in my Western video, so if you want to know more, I just I talked about the talked about them in other videos. 
Uh, Gran Torino is also B tier. Like I know a lot of B tiers for Clint Eastwood directed films. Uh, uh, I really enjoy uh, Gran Torino. It's very funny. It's a movie you never ever could make now because of a lot of racial slurs in it. But it's still a very gripping story and him helping this family, this na the neighbor family out, and it, it, it's actually quite fascinating to watch. And it's actually very emotionally impactful. So yeah. Here we go, we have High Plains Drifter, his directorial debut, and it's a pretty good directorial debut. It's it's very low budget, and you can tell it's very low budget. Uh, it, it's still good, though. It's very well acted. It, it, it's got that really raw grittiness to it, and yeah, I, I, I enjoy it for what it is. I really, I really enjoy it for what it is. <laughs> uh, and then we have um, White Hunter, Black Heart, Definitely one of his uh, weaker films. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, then we have a, a Perfect World, which I also put in B tier. Kevin Costner, uh, criminal. He's a criminal, and he accidentally kidnaps his young boy. And it's almost like a road trip movie with him and this boy that he kidnapped and stuff. And they have like this kind of bonding thing. There's some scenes that are very questionable, but all in all, it's a very well done movie. And Clint Eastwood's very good in the movie as the police officer. Bloodwork is a decent movie, decent uh, thriller. Uh, same with uh, was it uh, True Crime, also very decent thrillers. I always, uh, <laughs> I always like put these two films together because I always forgot which one was which. But uh, yeah, they're both good. They're both they're they're both very good movies. Uh, what's not a good movie is Jay Edgar. I fucking hated Jay Edgar. Um, Jared Groover is definitely a fascinating person, and Clint Eastwood would be a very good director to make a, a, a biopic about him, and they just did it all wrong. Leonardo is not even good. I mean, Hammer is not very good. The story is not very good. And again, it looks like shit. It's just an ugly made film. Um, Absolute Power is also, like, it's pretty good. I enjoy Absolute Power. Um, uh, Letters from Iwo Jima is a tier. Like, that is so brilliant. Ken Watanabe is amazing. It's a fantastic, like... Like, Clint Eastwood also has, like, this grainy, grayish films that I don't like the look of, but Letters from Iwo Jima, that style works beautifully. And the story is so well done and so well executed, and the writing is top-notch. The, the look of it, the size of it is fantastic. It just... This is a damn good film. Like, this is great. Like, if you want to watch a very captivating, like, war film that isn't just about the war, is, yeah, Letters from Iwo Jima is fantastic. You know what isn't fantastic is Hereafter, it, the piece of shit movie. <laughs> just fucking snooze fest galore. Oh my god. Another one that, like, I gotta just talk about, just breezy is not good. Um, the rookie with him, Charlie Sheen, is not good either. I'm just gonna put all those in that one. Like, ugh. The Mule is another one that uh, I'll put the bottom C. Like, I liked Bradley Cooper and him in the movie. It's it, it, it's pretty. It's just kind of boring. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of boring. Even Space Cowboys, I find it kind of boring. Like, I know a lot of people love Space Cowboys. I find it kind of dull. And it's overly long and just it kind of draws it drags it drags for me. <laughs> uh, Million Dollar Baby is B tier. I love Million. I know everyone like puts it as like the, the top tier Clint Eastwood directed film. I love him. Hillary Swank and Morgan Freeman in the film. It's just not a very watchable movie. It's a very uh, inspirational film. Very heartbreaking film. It's just not very watchable for me. It's too depressing for me. So. Yeah, it loses points for that. Uh, American Sniper, I really enjoy. There's aspects that are very bullshit, but I still enjoy it, and I still like Bradley Cooper a lot in it. Flags of Our Fathers is so fucking under. We're going to get into some, like, the, uh, I guess, unpopular opinions. Flags of Our Fathers is fantastic. I think this movie's terrific. Everybody in the movie is so like underrated. It, it like has William Phil uh, Ryan sorry William Ryan Philippe and like Jesse Bradford in the movie, but they're great. It looks fantastic. It's very gritty. It tells the story in a very interesting and captivating way. And I know a lot of people don't really like it, but I love it. I think Flags of Our Fathers is a damn great film. 
Same with Bridges of Madison County. Like, I know I'm... Yeah. It's actually, like, I like that he actually did a romance film with him and Mel Streep. And they're both fantastic in the film. Like, I really enjoy Matt Bridges of Madison County. And also, Heartbreak Courage is so fucking good. It is so funny at times. It's so brutal. And it's so a movie of its time. And you can never make this movie now. But I fucking love it. I love the lines. I love Clint Eastwood in the film. And I love how brutal it is. It's great. Um, Play Misty for me was one of his first films. And it was like a horror film. And it's... uh. It's fine. I enjoy it. I like the soundtrack and the atmosphere, but it's predictable. It's a little hammy, and it's a bit cheesy for me. <laughs> the Changeling can be very good and has a great ending. It's just, again, it's so long. <laughs> uh, Richard Jewell was enjoyable. I really liked Richard Jewell. Um, there were moments here and there that dragged, but the lead performance was really good. I really liked Sam Rockwell. And, um, oh my god, what's her name? Kathy Bates. They were both very solid. They are big standouts for me. And I thought the, the story was very fascinating. Now we're getting to 15, 15, 15 17 to Paris, which is his, his worst film ever. It's god-awful. Don't ever get soldiers to play in your movies. Act of Valor is a great example of that, but at least Act of Valor had good action scenes. This movie had good nothing. It is a trash, absolute trash film one of the war probably the worst war film ever made so yeah um so yeah it's s tier uh sadly uh, yeah it's only s tier movie for me is unforgiven and i really like clint eastwood and like if, if we we're talking about his acting movies there'd be a shit ton more in the s tier like good the bad the ugly and um dirty harry and shit like that but as a director one i guess yeah unforgiven for his A tier, I would, um, yeah, yeah. Mystic River is his best out of the A tier. And, yeah, his three war films that I really love. The thing about what he did a lot was westerns and war films. And Bridges and Mountains and County was great. His B tier is really stacked. Man, like, wow. Uh, I would say, I'll at least put Million Dollar Baby on the top of the B tier with Invictus. Oh, Ella, Ella, Josie Wallace is going to be great there. I'll put even American Sniper up there. Perfect World up there. I'll put Sully next to Nerd Torino. I'll put that next to Drew Jewel. Bronco Billy on the button. There you go. There you go. C tier. Uh, I'll put Space Cowboys on top of C tier because at least it's actually a very well made film. Pell Rider, Crom Macho. Even, I'll actually put the, the changeling right up there with there. Um, I'll put that right there. Yeah, that sounds good. D tier, I think the lowest is Jersey Boys. Breezy and the rookie right there. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. So, uh, his best, Unforgiven. A tier. Mr. Grover, Letters from Iwo Jima, Flags Our Fathers, Heartbreak Ridge, Ms. Bridges of Madison County, all fantastic. I think all three of these films, are, I think actually all four of them are underrated Clint Eastwood movies, and they, they're all fantastic. They don't get the praise that a lot of his other films do. And these are all solid fix. Uh, um, these are like his westerns and series films, all really solid movies. Even his C-tier films are actually good movies, they're just a little boring and a little overly long for me. D tier, not good, and these are his worst. So, yeah, that is my tier ranking for Clint Eastwood directed films. So, in the comment section, will please tell me what is your favorite and the least favorite movie directed by Mr. Clint Eastwood himself? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.